morning guys it's 5 45 i can't believe i'm about to do this i've got to head out the house a new adventure begins today welcome to a week in my life i will explain everything later I just got home. I made myself a little peanut butter protein superfood smoothie for breakfast. It's a little bit after 10 a.m., which is crazy because <laughs> I feel like I've already just lived like a mini day this morning because I've been up for so long. Um, so officially, welcome to this vlog. Welcome to a 5 a.m. week in my life starting a new job. That all sounds so exciting because it is so exciting. Um, so I wanted to sit down a little bit and just fill you guys in on what is my new job and we'll just chat about that i'm very excited about this and i'm very excited to be back and be like working um but probably it's not what you think or maybe you already know because it was at 5 a.m and it's like what okay i'll just tell you so you guys may remember a couple months ago i had an interview at a nail salon and i vlogged it and i mentioned in that video that my number one choice for a part-time job would be to go back to the spin studio that i used to work at and things didn't really work out with the nail salon they wanted me to be more available than i was and my dream situation for a part-time job was to work at a gym and do a morning shift the reason i wanted to do that was for two reasons one i've worked in a gym before and i loved it it was a really like positive time in my life and i want to talk about that later um so i loved the gym ambiance also you get a free gym membership usually when you work at a gym which is an insane perk and saves you so much money and starting work early means you have the rest of the day with no interruptions to go about the rest of the tasks that you have to do whether it's school or in my case youtube contract work etc so if i were to work in the evening it would mean that i would have to stop what i'm doing at a certain time of the day and then go to work if i were to work in the evenings it would also mean missing out on quality time with my friends and my boyfriend and if i were to work in the middle of the day that would just cut the day in half which is fine when you're a student but for me i just didn't want that so i really had like a very specific wish list for my part-time job and i'm so pleased because i waited i was patient and i got exactly what i wanted and i'm so grateful for that back then all of those months ago i had reached out to the spin studio that i used to work at offering not offering asking if they needed someone to work any morning shifts um, and i realized it was like a bit of a tricky situation because it's like hi guys i'm only available for this shift but it's also a shift that not a lot of people want because no one really wants to wake up that early unless you're insane like i am um so at the time they didn't have anything and i was patient and luckily something opened up and i got to go back and today was my very first shift today is tuesday and it's also like the second day that i've been home from my trip to colombia so <laughs> life is very crazy this week and i'm so excited to be documenting it um but let me just talk to you guys a little bit about this job why i wanted to get it what am I going to be doing um, and why did I choose a part-time job rather than going back to corporate or anything like that. I also want to talk about the finances and the kind of financial aspect and what my goals are with that. But we'll talk about that tomorrow because I don't want this to be like the longest sit down clip ever. I want to have like a nice, you know, balanced vlog for you guys. So I was trying to do the math and I couldn't figure it out. I either started working at this job in 2017 or 2018 i literally i just can't remember because i have a feeling it was 2018 but it felt my time there was so fun and exciting for me that it felt like it was much longer than it was i think that's what's happening so in 2018 i went to a spin class for the first time with my friend eve at this spin studio and i loved it so much I was a student at the time and I could not afford to pay for spin classes. Um, spin classes are very expensive. Even to this day, I don't like paying for them because they're very pricey. And so I figured out that if I got a job there, 
I needed a part-time job anyways, and if I got a job there, well, I could get free spin classes. So I ended up getting hired. I started out as what they called a maintenance coordinator, and you're essentially in charge of cleaning the studio and also setting up people on bikes. So I learned everything about the studio. I learned everything about how you're supposed to be fitted on a bike, cleaning. I was literally in there scrubbing toilets, you guys, and I loved every second of it. And it's crazy because, you know, those are the kinds of jobs that you don't imagine yourself loving and like, what, scrubbing toilets and like cleaning spin shoes? No, I loved it. I made so many amazing friends. I was always at the spin studio. And that was also the first time that I ever had a cohesive workout routine that I enjoyed. Before that, I would stress out about going to the gym. I had a really bad relationship with working out. And this was the first time that I had a positive relationship with working out, that I enjoyed it, that I was consistent with it. And I really saw the impact right then um, of working out consistently on my mental health because I was an anxious student. So I worked there for however much time and then I got promoted to studio coordinator which is like the front desk. So that's more customer facing, you're kind of selling memberships, you're answering people's questions, you're making smoothies, you're still cleaning, definitely. You're cleaning the shoes, you're cleaning, helping clean the studio. Um, and I just loved it, I loved it so much. And that all went on until I went away to Australia, so I had to quit because I was moving. And I actually remember, you guys, before I went to Australia, there was a part of me that didn't wanna go because I was so happy with my life here in Montreal at the time. And a big part of why I was so happy was that I had this amazing workout routine and these amazing friends and this great job. And I liked my school and I had a boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, but this was such a big part of my life. All that to say that working at the spin studio was a big part of my life. Taking the classes was a big part of my life. Work, identity, social life, like everything. I loved it there so much. Like. Whenever I would meet someone, it was like, tell us a fun fact about yourself. It was like, I'm obsessed with spinning. Like that was, it was a big part of my personality. When I came back from Australia six months later, they hired me back and I worked there full time for the whole summer before I started uh, working corporate. I worked there for the whole summer and that was one of the best summers of my life. It was so much fun. And the thing is, is when I was there, it didn't feel like work. I was getting paid, you know, minimum wage. Um, and it just didn't feel like work. It felt like social time. It felt like fun. Um, it's the best part-time job I ever had. And then I started working corporate. I actually loved it so much that I did not give up uh, working at the spin studio when I started working full-time. I switched to a volunteer position where I would work one shift a week. Every single Saturday I was at the spin studio, or was it Sunday? I think it might've been Sunday. Every single Sunday I was at the spin studio and I was also working full time and I did that volunteering so that I could keep my membership. So all of this, like never wanted to give it up. I loved it so much. And what ended up causing me to give it up was actually COVID. So COVID hit um, and I just decided that I wasn't going to stay working there. I mean, everything locked down for a while and then there was the opportunity to come back, but I figured that time of my life is done. It's time to move on. <laughs> Funny how things work out. I said goodbye to it in my mind. I stopped spinning. I, you know, I moved on and I didn't realize how much I actually missed it, how much I missed spinning and how much I missed having a place to like go to work and do something and talk to people and just be social like that. I didn't realize how much I missed the community really is the word is like working at the studio and being a client there and you're part of a community and that feels amazing. And I, I realized I was missing that. Um, working from home has so many perks and being your own boss and being a freelancer has so many perks and I love it. But I didn't realize like these last nine months almost of being a freelancer, I didn't realize how lonely I was, um, which is really sad, but I, I don't talk to people all day. I talk to you guys, which is amazing, um, but I don't have any back and forth interactions with people. I don't have that many calls, like for my contracts, we have very few calls, it's mostly solo work. Um, everything I do, I'm kind of alone. 
and I realized that I was really just missing that excuse to go out. I really needed that push. I needed that push to get up and leave the house and just going to a coffee shop to work, like it wasn't enough of a motivation. So I talked about it with my friends, talked about it with my boyfriend. I was like, I have this idea. Am I crazy that I wanna go back and work minimum wage? And they were like, no, it makes sense. Like go out, work and get your socializing in basically. So that's what I did. And today was the first day I had my first shift back um, and it was so good. It felt so good to be back. I was working and being trained by a girl that I used to work with and who I knew. So that was super fun. Um, my membership is back intact. So we'll be taking classes and everything and it just feels so good. So no, this is not like a full-time situation. This is going to be one to three shifts a week, always in the mornings. Um, and it's perfect because I see myself doing my shift and either coming straight home like I do now, having the rest of the day to work on my other commitments, or maybe staying down there, visiting a coffee shop, um, staying and taking a class at lunch, like whatever it may be. I just really think this was the best decision I could have made. And you know when you make a decision and your body, you get a pit in your stomach right away telling you, mm -mm, this isn't right. Um, I don't have that whatsoever. I have like my whole body just kind of being like, yes, finally, why did it take you so long to realize that this is what you needed? Um, so I could go on and on for so long about this, but I'm just really grateful. I want to say one thing is when I was, so waking up at 5 a.m. was rough, but at least like I had to wake up because I had to show up to work on time. So that was great. Um, it wasn't too hard and I don't know, I like waking up early, so I'm just a freak like that. We're gonna have to go to bed so early tonight. But um, I had this feeling the whole time, like taking the Metro, walking into work, listening to people's conversations, talking with people. Um, I had this feeling and this message kept replaying to me in my head, like, welcome back, Zoe, like, welcome back to the world. And I'm so happy to be back. I feel awake, I feel very alive. And I know this is so dramatic, but if you've ever had that shut in feeling for so long, then, and maybe you can relate to what I'm saying. So um, yeah, that's everything about my job. Thank you for listening. I hope you're as excited as I am. And also this is gonna make for some pretty good content because we're gonna be waking up early. We're gonna be visiting the old port, which you guys know is my favorite part of Montreal. We're gonna be taking spin classes. Um, and I just really think this is gonna elevate my life, which will elevate my videos, which will hopefully motivate you guys. And I just think it's gonna be great all around. Because I can never shut up, you guys, the last thing I wanna say is a message for you all, <laughs> which is one that I had to learn is there is no shame in going backwards because to anyone on the outside who doesn't understand my story and who doesn't understand my life, this might look like I'm going backwards. Like you had a prestigious consulting job and you're going back to work minimum wage. You, I could make $50 an hour doing contract work and I'm going back to make minimum wage, but it's not about that. It's not about the money. It's not about like the opportunity cost, what else could I be doing? It's like the feeling of community and being alive and all of that is more important than the money. And like I said, we will talk about the money tomorrow, but I just wanna say sometimes going backwards isn't actually going backwards in life. And you need to not worry about anyone judging you or asking, why are you doing that, whatever. Think about yourself, think about what you want. And if going backwards is a part of that plan, then go backwards, you guys, um, because Life is not linear, so there you have it. Okay, <laughs> that was fun. Now it's time to get our shit together, shall we? We're gonna head over to my desk. Um, I'm all alone in the house right now. Maggie is at JS's. We're gonna go pick her up later. He's going to a concert tonight, and I've got the night to myself, which I'm really excited for. You guys know the beloved agenda is back. We had a couple vlogs without it. I missed it. <laughs> um, I'm so happy, you guys. I'm sure you can tell. So we're gonna get our shit together. We're gonna write in the agenda. Um, and then we're going to get to work.
Hi guys, so I just wanted to do a little check-in slash update. <laughs> I'm having a weird day. What started all of this like sort of weird sideline that I've taken is my adapter, which is so important. This is what allows me to plug anything into my computer because I have the MacBooks that like don't have any ports. Um, just decided to stop working. It was literally working yesterday and today I plugged it in and it's not working. So I can't read anything from my SD card so I can't edit a vlog right now. I can't um, read my monitor, like my HDMI, it's not working. So I can't, that's why I'm watching on my phone. Um, so I either have to drive to Best Buy later today and pick up a new one or Amazon Prime one for tomorrow. There's uh, it's like 40% more expensive from Best Buy. So I'm kind of just like, okay, maybe I can just do other stuff today and um, Amazon Prime it. But before I order a new one, I wanna try, when I go pick up Maggie, I'm gonna see if this works on JS's computer, which means it's a computer problem, not a this problem. Praying that it's a this problem. So we shall see. Also, my neighbor uh, might be able to help me out. He's a photographer, so he might have one of those. He's just not home right now. So we'll see, but that's the update. What time is it? It's one o'clock. I have to go get Maggie in about an hour. What did he say, 1.30 or 2.30? Yeah, 2.30. So I'm gonna leave in about an hour to go get Maggie. I should do a workout, but I don't know. I'm in such a weird mood today. I'm like, let me just go with the flow of my life. Um, it's like, if I feel like working out, I'll work out. If I feel like staying on this rabbit hole of thumbnails, that's what I'm gonna do. So that's the vibe today. Look at this nice sun that's finally come out to say hello. Oh, speaking of hello. Hi, Maggie. You're back. We missed you. I'm about to have a call to just end the day for my contract. We just scheduled it last minute. So I'm reheating some tea to keep me company for that. Am I the only one who reheats my tea because I let it? Oh, don't look at that because I let it go cold or I make too big of a mug and then I don't finish it. So to end off the day, I have a call for my copywriting contract. I'm really excited for it. We have some really fun things for me to work on and I love that contract. So I'm just excited to kind of check back into it after two weeks on vacation. Plus last month it was very slow. So I'm excited for it to ramp back up. And then I have a FaceTime date with my friend Michaela. So I'm super excited. This day has been amazing. Definitely one of my most social days in a while. And it's funny because what I was talking about this morning was that I don't get enough socialization in my life and then start the day with socializing and like, all day long I have calls and stuff, which is very unusual. So I love the way that this day is going and I'm super thankful for it. I also wanna start planning my day tomorrow today because it's already shaping up to be a busy day. I can't wait for you guys to see. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to bed early tonight. Not much is gonna go down. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I just finished my shift. I'm out in the old port, which you guys know is my favorite part of town. So I'm in a really good mood. Shift went great, it was like my second training shift. And then I'm gonna go to a coffee shop, work on my contracts a little bit. And then I'm taking a bar class at lunch. So I'm really excited. You guys can probably tell I'm in a super good mood. Something about waking up early just feels so good. Although I'm not gonna lie, I'm very tired. I feel like I looked at myself in the mirror at the end of my shift and I was like, oh, the dark circles are pretty dark. 
Um, it was kind of hard to sleep last night. I was like stressing about stuff, but when my alarm woke up, it's like, because I have to go to work, it's kind of that same feeling of when you have to go to the airport and like, you're really tired, but you just wake up and like, okay, let's go. You're like adrenaline. This is my little outfit for the day. I'm wearing this huge bomber jacket um, that I got from the thrift store and it's so cozy. It's like a little bit chilly, a little bit gray, classic fall day. I'm very happy about it. Okay, we're gonna go to the coffee shop and have some fun, have some work, have some productivity, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys, I made myself a breakfast so that I wouldn't spend too much money at the coffee shop. I made overnight oats. They don't look too good though. Ooh, I don't know. I used to make these all the time. Okay, I definitely messed up. I haven't made them in a while and I don't think I did a good enough job. <laughs> It's getting kind of late, it's almost three o'clock. As soon as I got home, I had a call with a graphic designer for something really exciting. Um, it just put me in the best mood. We chatted for like an hour and it was super fun. Uh, the bar class was super fun too, but I was running late, so I didn't actually film anything there. Anyways, I'm finally home and I'm having breakfast for lunch. I'm so hungry, so I'm so excited to eat. This is what I made, just two eggs and <laughs> this quarter piece of toast because it was frozen and then it like broke off. And I'm listening to the morning toast. I'm still on the podcast over YouTube while eating just to kind of have a little bit less screen time. But this day is going amazing. I'm gonna head over to my desk and get to editing a video afterwards. Um, so that's about it. Hi guys, I just made a cup of cinnamon water and as promised, we will chat about the finances of this new job. So like I mentioned yesterday, this is a minimum wage job. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not a easy money, get $10,000. You guys know those ads. I get those ads all the time. Like, who do you think I am? <laughs> um, this is just like an honest minimum wage job. And I'm very grateful for the outlook that I've had about this and for the decision that I've come to regarding the money from this job and the overall my overall sentiment is I'm not doing this for the money. You guys might have gotten that vibe from me yesterday when I said that really my goals with this were to have fun, to leave the house and to spin and interact with people and go to bar class and go to a coffee shop after and it's everything that I've been doing the past two days and I don't know if you can tell but I feel like a brand new person and I'm so happy. So this just shows that the intention for which I had with this job is working. So minimum wage here in Quebec is $14.25 an hour. And like I mentioned yesterday, some people might think it's absolutely outrageous that I would go back to working a minimum wage job. But like I said, you guys, I'm not doing this for the money. So what I have planned to do with the money that I earn from this job is actually to put all of it straight into savings. I am going to act as if I'm not getting paid. I've done this job before for free. I did it as a volunteer to have the spin membership. Um, and I'm going to act as if that's how I'm doing it again. By acting as if I'm not getting paid, having that money just kind of blindly go into my savings, I think is going to be an incredible strategy for just boosting my savings because 
no matter how big or how small, it's the act of contributing to your savings that is important. And over time, you keep up that habit and you will see results. At the moment, I'm not currently putting enough money or as much money as I would like into my savings. So this is gonna be my little strategy. So no, it's not going to be $1,000 a month into savings, $500 a month into savings. It's more so going to look around 150 to 200 dollars per month into savings but you guys that is better than nothing not to mention i'm getting my goal of getting out of the house i'm having fun plus for me the membership the free spinning membership and bar membership is very very valuable and cuts out another expense out of my life so don't have to pay for a gym plus i'm going to be getting you know an extra 200 dollars in savings it actually kind of, for me, will amount to about $400 a month in savings if you count the gym. Um, so I'm very happy about that. I do think financially it's a good decision. Plus again, it's in the morning so I can go home and do the rest of my work later. And that is basically my justification, if you will, of what I'm going to be doing with the money. So the last note is that I'm very proud of myself because old me, Old me would have had the same outlook to this job um, where I'm like, oh, I'm, it feels like fun. It feels like I could, I'm doing this for free. However, what I would have done with the money is like gotten my nails done, gone shopping, treat yourself. That's what I would have done with this bonus income. Now for me, the biggest treat that, and the thing that I'm lacking the most is a sense of security. And I know that having and building my savings will contribute to that sense of security. So that's now my form of treat yourself. And oh, how things change, it's so funny. But I wanna share that with you guys because I think it's important to talk about. I wanna sit here and show you guys like there's different ways of having jobs and different ways of managing your money with jobs and whatever. Um, and life doesn't just have to be about buying things, but also life doesn't just have to be about savings. And life doesn't just have to be about having like a very prestigious career path. And I could go on about all of that forever. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit inside my brain about this because I know that I would like to hear inside so many people's brains about this topic. So anyways, it's been a wonderful day. Um, Jean and I are going to Tacos Victor tonight and I'm just gonna have like a very chill night. I feel like I need to really rest. Um, because I have another 5 a.m. shift, and 5 a.m. wake up, 6 a.m. shift tomorrow. So I need to just like take it easy. I want to show you guys the book that I'm currently reading. This was a pass along from my friend Michaela. It's called Sweet Bitter. It takes place in New York. So it's perfect kind of fall book. And what would you guys think if I started a book club? I was thinking about it and I think it's a good idea. I would love to have a book club where we can like chat and talk about books maybe have like a Zoom meeting all together. Um, it's something that I've been thinking about. So comment down below if you'd be interested in that. Um, I feel like I have like a kind of, I don't know, I don't have like the book talk taste in books. So I was, that's what drew me to this idea of like, you know, maybe creating a space where we can talk about the kind of books that I like and maybe you guys will like them too. Um, so anyways, this is my current read. Have you ever read it? <laughs> so this is my current read. Let me know if you'd be interested in a book club and I will see you guys tomorrow. We're going to Ottawa and we're going to do something so exciting. Do you want to say? Subway? <laughs> <laughs> we're driving to Ottawa to get 
two Subway meals for $14.99. Have you ever seen a deal like that? <laughs> Guys, Subway is so good. Um, no, we're going to a drag show. We're going to see Trixie Mattel, who I feel like is both of our favorite. Yeah, with Katya with together, Katya. even better. It's true. So it's going to be an extravaganza. So excited. Um, so we're... We just got out of Montreal, so the stress is done, the stress of driving, and then it's just like easy highway to Ottawa. Traffic is bad. So bad. Um, but I'm so excited. We got Maggie in the back. Kamij is leaving in Ottawa tomorrow, and then I'm actually staying for a whole week, so we'll have some Ottawa vlogs to look forward to, which I feel like you guys like. Um, You're going to go to Canadian Tire. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian Tire and Walmart. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Let's go have some fun and get Subway. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It really feels like Saturday today. It's really weird. I kept all day thinking yesterday that it was Friday, but it wasn't. Today is. Um, so I just pulled over into this parking lot. I just dropped my sister off at school, which I really like doing when I'm here. It's kind of fun. Um, and I need to like get my shit together, <laughs> figure out what I'm doing for the day. I'm still like in the clothes that I slept in. Um, I did wake up very early this morning to drop Camilla off at the train. She had to go back to Montreal. She took the 6.30 train. So woke up super early, dropped her at the train, and I couldn't help it. I went back to bed. I think everything from this week is catching up to me. I'm having an amazing week. I'm really glad I like been waking up early and no regrets about that no regrets about taking this job everything feels very right and I've just been reflecting and like chatting with some people and reflecting on like how good it feels to be busy and that's the way I kind of used to live my life like especially while working full-time doing YouTube and um, doing this volunteer job at uh, at the spin studio like a couple years ago that was like my ultimate state and even though I wasn't happy at my job I liked the feeling of being busy and I think for I don't know for myself who struggles with my anxiety and who can have like these really negative thoughts creep in it's when I'm not keeping busy that there's more room for these negative thoughts to creep in and the other thing that I was thinking is like busy doesn't have to equal overwhelmed busy does not have to equal stressed it does not have to equal anxious like you can have a good state of busyness um, and so that's kind of my going to be my new goal moving forward is to obtain that like good state of busyness where you have a lot of things going on but you know it feels good um, and I feel like that's what this week was like I never really had a moment of being so overwhelmed or so stressed or oh my god why did I why did I take this new thing on everything like I said just feels really right so I'm so grateful for that um, and I'm looking forward to this next like weekend and this week here in Ottawa I will start a new week in my life next week um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that I've just been like texting some friends seeing what's up I need to text Mary now to see if she wants to do something today I'm gonna say good morning <laughs> Yeah, it just feels really good to be home. I have a package that got shipped here from H&M. Um, I bought three sweaters and I'm only going to keep one if not none. So I thought I would do a really quick little unboxing for you guys just to like end off this video. So yeah, three sweaters. H&M is the best for sweaters. I'm not a big H&M girl the rest of the year, but it's the only place I found. Actually, Zara for sweaters is all right too. But H&M, it's really like no miss. Their sweaters are good, affordable, and they last me many, many seasons. So I love that. Um, so I got a beige one. Let's start with this. They're all like the same cut. Like I'm so predictable. They're all the same cut, which is a loose turtleneck, a bit longer cut. Um, so that's that one. Oh, it's really nice. It has like this long, thick turtleneck. I love the long, thick turtlenecks because you just feel so cozy in them. And you can start wearing them like as of now because you just wear them without a sweat or without a jacket over top. And then later on into the winter, you put a jacket. So I got a size medium in everything. And I believe they were each between $40 and $50. I don't actually have anything like this. So this could be 
but yes i'll have to try them on at home next is the one that i'm most excited for i've been seeing these all over instagram with the blue stripes um so i feel like this is gonna be the one i end up keeping it's i think this say oh 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 okay a bit of a different cut this one's more square but it also has the turtleneck okay material is less nice i'm not gonna lie this one feels a bit more cheap than this one so i'll have to try it on and see and the last one i feel like is not going to be the keeper one because i just have a hard time matching this color with stuff this is like a darker gray um and it's a turtleneck as well but i guess it would be more of a mock neck but it's also that long cut with the slit so we'll see i'll try them on i'll put a clip over top and i would love for you guys to comment which one um you think i should keep that is that you guys this has been a crazy week this has been a very different week than anything i've filmed in a very long time but i had a great time and i hope you enjoyed it i'd love to hear your thoughts on this vlog down below do we like the week in the live should we keep them going i mean we are going to keep it going next week so stay tuned for that make sure you're subscribed and if you've made it this far i love you so much um and why don't you hit the thumbs up button while you're here? It really helps me out. Okay, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. <laughs> I suck at that.